It is finally time to go back to school supply shopping. Let's go. Ash a digit, the schedule busy. My head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie. My cousins are crazy, my cousin like boogie. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be going back to school supply shopping. You guys literally beg me to do this video every single year. And it's like one of my most popular videos that I do every single year at back to school time. I love filming back to school content. It is literally so fun. And I just love getting ready for back to school. So in this video, I'm going to be getting all of my supplies to get ready for school and in one of my next videos I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag for school and showing you everything that I take in my school bag so stay tuned for that video and subscribe down below but yeah I am obviously in France right now and I do live in Dubai so I'm not going to get all my supplies in France but I am going to get the basic ones and just try and find some cute stationery. I hope you guys enjoy this video let's just get right on into it. So I'm going to go to the shops right now. I did also order some things to Dubai. I go back in like a few days. So in one of my next videos, I'll be able to show you guys all of those supplies. So I'm in like the stationery aisle and they literally have so much stuff. It's this whole aisle filled with stationery. I literally hate filming when there's like other people near me. I find it so awkward, but... I'm just gonna do it for this video. So first I think I'm gonna get some post-its. Maybe these ones. And those ones also look quite nice. I feel like it would just be good for marking pages and just like making notes. I think I'm gonna get these post-it notes as well. Literally all I have right now are post-it notes, but I use them quite a lot. Maybe some sellotape. I need some of this for my Polaroids. So I might just get a few of them. This is like the tape that doesn't stain your walls. So it's good for like hanging up things on your walls. Like my Polaroid wall. I think I definitely need glue. Usually I never have glue or it just runs out. And I have to ask people for glue. So I think I'm going to get this one. Or just the regular ones. But I'm not really sure. Okay I'm going to get two packs of these. Because these will literally run out so quickly. I might need a math set. But I think I have one. I might get a ruler like that. But I wish they had the snappy ones. Because then I can have a longer ruler in my pencil case. They probably do have them, I just like can't see them. Okay, I'm just gonna get a baby one. That one will hopefully be good. And if I need a big one, I'll probably find one somewhere. Now for scissors. I don't know if like big scissors will fit in my pencil case. But I could get these. I think they will fit. Okay, I'm just gonna get these scissors. Or should I get these little pink ones? Tell me I'll be what I Can't do the money. I think I'm gonna get one of these types of pens because in school if you need to like mark stuff I might need a red and a green pen so this will just be good because it's like all in one. This one's a really nice colour so I think I'm gonna get this one. These look really nice for like outlining stuff maybe. Although that's the full pack of them. I do not know if I should get them or not. I did order some stuff so I need to make sure I'm not just like getting everything again because that would be really pointless. I do probably need to get some friction pens. These are literally what I use the whole year. I think these ones will be good. It also has some extra extra packs of lead so i'm gonna get that i already have a calculator so i don't need to get that i think that's it for pens maybe oh maybe some highlighters this pack looks quite good so i'm gonna get them i'm kind of going with like a pastel theme that's kind of what i do every year because i just think it looks really nice and i love like baby pink so all of it will go together and my school bags maybe so i feel like pink just looks really nice with it i need a planner just to write my homework and stuff i don't really like these ones that much i might just look online for a planner there's literally no good notebooks this is quite nice but it just has blank paper never mind i thought that was like all the stationery but there's literally all of these books down here i'm definitely gonna find something because it's this whole aisle full of books and binders this one's a really nice color and it kind of goes with my theme so i need to get 10 folders because i'm doing 10 gcse's so i need folders for each of them i don't need like a binder i just need like a little pocket to put all my loose sheets just something like this but i'm not sure that i'll need it because i have all of my books for school so i don't think i'm gonna need folders i don't know if i need 10 of these though that's the only thing i'm just gonna get two of them i don't think i'm missing anything i'll give you guys a haul when i get back and just show you guys everything in detail and i'm gonna show you my bag as well for school so stay tuned for that in this video i'm just going to show you guys the school supplies that i'm buying today and also my school bag just so that you guys can see it comment down below when your school starts or if it's already started okay let's go to the checkout so i just got all of the supplies i'm going to go back now and then i'll give you guys a haul of everything I'm I didn't get a pencil case because I already have one, but I don't really know where I'm going to put all these school supplies because my pencil case is in Dubai. So I just got back, as you guys can see, and now I'm going to give you guys the full haul of everything that I got, all of my back to school supplies. I'm literally 
literally so excited. I'm also going to show you guys my school bag, but I'm not going to put my school supplies in it yet because that's going to be in my what's in my bag video and I'll like show all the little like things that I put in my bag and everything. So that will probably be one of my next videos if you guys want to see that. Then subscribe down below and stay tuned for that. But I am going to show you guys my bag right now. So this is my bag. This is it rolled up by the way. It's not actually this size, but you basically just unclip it and then it all opens up. It's a long chomp bag, but it's like a handbag as you guys can tell. So it's not a backpack or anything. Last year I used a Lululemon backpack and it was literally so good, but this year because it's like my first year of GCSEs and it's technically like my first year of high school. If that makes sense. I thought I would just get a new bag and I just thought I would get a handbag because it just like switches it up a bit. So yeah, this is the bag and I really like that it also folds up. But yeah, it is quite big and it fits so much stuff in here. Like there's so much room inside. I'm just like more excited for school this year for some reason. Usually I don't really get like excited for school, but just like getting loads of cute school supplies and everything makes me so excited for school. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about the bag now and get on to my school supplies. So firstly, I'm gonna start off with the folders that I got. I think I'm I might get a few more when I'm back in Dubai because I'm not sure this will be enough but I'm gonna see how school goes and see if I need to get any more before I just like buy a bunch of folders so this is my favorite folder that I got so this is what it looks like it has all these numbers here to like number your classes I would have got two of these but they only had one in pink and I didn't want to like mix up the colors so yeah it just has all the classes down the side I am taking 10 classes so eight probably won't be enough but some classes I probably won't get as many sheets so I might not need to use this. But yeah, it just has all the compartments and you can like label it on the side. So it's really good for loose sheets for my classes and then it just ties up on the side. The next folder that I got is this one. I don't really like this one as much because it's more orangey than the pink. Like compared to this folder, it's more orange and it's like fully neon orange in the middle. It's actually blinding. Anyways, I thought this would also be good for loose sheets. And then the last folders that I got are these clear ones. I probably also also should have got more of these for all of my classes but this is again just put loose sheets and my textbook in here so I'm gonna have one of these for each class and just put my notebooks in there next I got these highlighters I love the pastel colors they match my nails as well the theme of like school supplies that I kind of went for is just pastels and baby pinks for my GCSEs I'll probably need to color cord a bunch of stuff a bit more so I'm gonna use these for that next I'm gonna show you guys some post-it notes that I got because I got quite a few don't really know what why I got so many but I did. So I got these post-it notes. There's just a bunch of colors of them. I probably won't take these into school but I'll leave them on my desk at home. And the next ones that I got are these ones. They're just kind of the page ones to toggle stuff on your page and you can also write on them. So these will be good if I need to mark my subjects or anything like that. And then the last ones that I got are these ones. I just thought the colors were really nice and again it's just about marking my pages. Next I got some glue sticks. I did not realize that this one was not pink and now it's really annoying me that just one of them is blue But anyways, I got these glue sticks I just got the mini ones because I thought it would be easier just to fit in my pencil case So I'll just keep these at home apart from the one that's in my school bag And then I can just switch it out when it runs out I found this next thing right as I was like going to check out And I just thought this would be really good for school and I would use it a lot So it's this mechanical pencil from the Bic brand and yeah it comes with loads of lead on the side so just for any notes maybe like math notes I could use this for that I know it just like looks really clean and I just like love it next I got these fine tip pencil pens so yeah i got these pens i wish like this part of the pens was also the same color as the top but they're still really nice and i thought it would be good just for making notes and i think i might make each class that i have a different color so that it's just all color coordinated anyways moving on i got another bit pen it has four colors on it black green red and blue then i got some more bit pens these are just the ballpoint ones so i got some tip x this one is this like pastel set with the pink and the green one i thought they were really cute and i used tip x so much in school next i got just a basic ruler then i got some paper mate pens paper mate pens are my 
pens. They're just so good. So I got this two pack of just these basic black pens. So we're almost finished with this haul. I'm going through everything quite quickly. These are some black friction pens. So it comes with two of the black pens and then the ink for the pens. They're really just handy for notes and things. Then I got some scissors and they're pink, white and navy. So it kind of matches my whole theme. I really like these and they're not too big. So they will definitely fit in my pencil case. And then lastly, I got this rubber and sharpener. And then lastly, I got a bunch of magic tape. This isn't really for like schoolwork. I just got it to hang up my Polaroid photos. If you guys know, I have that Polaroid wall in my room. So yeah, I got some tape for that because I ran out of tape and they don't really sell the magic tape in that many places. That is everything that I got. It's now a huge pile on my bed and I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to put all of that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I know you guys love watching these types of videos, so I hope it gave you some inspiration. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.